The Boston Celtics are coming off such a massive win last night over the Brooklyn Nets, winning by 50 points, 136 to 86. And one of the guys that stood out most to me was Peyton Pritchard. There also was some other ones like, you know, Derek White looked good, Sam Hauser looked good, Porzingis looked good before getting injured. Also, comment down below real quickly, is Porzingis' injury minor? Someone let me know, please. I've been a little bit panicked since knowing that he went out or was limping after the game. But in this video, I want to break down Peyton Pritchard. He could be, um, you know, relied upon a ton during the playoffs. To just give us some energy, right, off the bench, someone who can score the ball. And if he can find a sense of consistency like he did in this game, man, the Celtics are probably the scariest team in the entire NBA with that being said. Now, in this video, I want to break down some film, not on the entire team of the Boston Celtics, but more importantly, just Peyton Pritchard because he had such a good game. I feel like we need to just look at what he's done in this game and see what he needs to do going forward. But obviously, we live stream every single game, so if you guys want to watch these games with me live, just subscribe, hit the, hit the like button, join the family. But here we go, Peyton Pritchard top of the key, going to get this little screen here by Porzingis. Listen, Porzingis is the X Factor because of these screens he can set up top not only is he a threat to roll to the basket not only is he a threat to post up here to get a lob but he can also you know drop back to the three-point line and catch and shoot threes right so right away you're gonna see a lot of teams try to hyper focus on not only poor Zingas but obviously the ball handler as well in in this scenario I don't know why Brooklyn did this I think a little bit of a miscommunication here but you obviously need to send one guy at poor Zingas Pritchard does a good job driving into the lane drawing three defenders in and just pulling up over him now paying Pritchard in this position I would love to see him kick this out to Porzingis for an open three right because that's probably the best shot opportunity however Pritchard is such a good shooter at times that it don't matter right that is a beautiful shot there by Pritchard he gets it to go and here we go again we're gonna get the same type of look this time you got Mikael Bridges on you right He is a much better defender but the goal here is to get a switch right you want this big man I believe this is um forget his name right now Daron Sharp so boom we're gonna get a screen we're gonna get right boom they're gonna try to switch back there we go okay there we go so now you draw in the big man you draw in Mikel Bridges behind the back pass gives you know Chris Epps the perfect amount of space to just pull up a three no defender is contesting that and he gets it to go right we just talked about that's what we wanted him to do that time he says okay listen Porzingis probably came back and was like hey I was wide open. You got me on that next time. And he was like, all right, bet. So they find it. Beautiful. Here we go. White over to Sam Hauser. Now, if you've been watching the Celtics, we've all known or seen the connection between not only Porzingis and Jalen Brown, but Sam Hauser and Peyton Pritchard. These two look locked in together, and it's, uh, you know, pretty easy to see. No see it on this play, but here we go. Derek White swings it over to Peyton Pritchard. Pritchard from the E in uh, the TD Garden. Jabs, isolating. Dennis Schroeder breaks his ankles, step, oh my god, this was a dirty one, I remember on stream, I kind of went crazy for this one, because look at, right, boom, fakes right, hesitation left, step back, gets it three to go, right, over an extended arm of Dennis Schroeder, I mean, listen, this is beautiful, beautiful basketball, and that's the face I would have on me too, man, hey, can't guard me, you can't guard me. We know what he did in his little rec league, putting up 50 points, 60 points, 80 points. I don't know how many it was. It was like 100, I think. But here we go. Derek White, top of the key again. Love this screen game, right? Love this two-man game between Chris Stapps, Porzingis, and whoever the ball handler is. It could be Derek White. It could be Pritchard. It could be Tatum. It could be Jalen. It could be Drew. It don't matter. Porzingis is the X Factor. So, boom, we're going to get to Porzingis in the post. Now, as Porzingis being one of the best post scorers in the NBA, I believe he is the best this year, you're going to get a lot of attention to him. So, boom, right away he's going to post up. But at the same time, he's looking around to see who's going to double. So, boom, Porzingis draws two, cross court over to Tatum. Now, Tatum is such a threat that you're going to send or see so much rotation here, right? You're going to see this guy swing over. You're going to see Luke Quinnette get behind the center. Now, you've got Cam Johnson rotating over. Pritchard in the corner. Now, you have a big man on you. Pump fakes a three, drives right, right, behind the back, step back. Boom, let me actually get right by him again. He's too slow. And look at this finish by Peyton Pritchard. This was unbelievable. Unbelievable finish over a big man. Hey, that has, you know, that has some Isaiah Thomas type of feel to it. Guys, before we get any further into the video, do me a big favor. Hit that like button. It helps out the channel so much you don't even understand. But also, subscribe to the channel if you're new. 
it's free it doesn't cost anything and you know listen we're gonna be covering the Celtics for the rest of the season live streaming during every game I need you guys to join the family and watch these games with me Celtics are up 60 to 29 at this point um, let's see what he does defensively here so Cam Johnson gonna get it off a handoff drives into the lane we got big Luke Cornette uh, as a help defense on the other side block shot rebound to Luke okay so this might be a little bit of a fast work opportunity so boom Derek White okay look at that that's beautiful right there so Derek White looks to the right draws this defender down here and then boom we just fill the lane well you see how um you know Tatum's not cutting Luke's not cutting uh Drew's not cutting we have everyone kind of just filling the lane right boom four and five no defender back we're gonna get a wide open three for Payton Pritchard could have made the extra pass here with this defender trailing so far behind but either way, Peyton Pritchard again gets it to go. It don't matter. Peyton Pritchard was on that level last night, man. He really was. Derek White. Over to Peyton Pritchard. Pritchard in the corner. Drives into the paint. Oh, my God. Easy. Fakes like he's going to go back out to the um, to the three-point line or actually kick it out. Look, at you can, you can force defenders to do a lot of things by just using your eyes here. All right. Watch this. So, he's going to quickly look to the right side see if anyone's there but what that does is bring these defenders back then Smith Jr. is gonna be like oh you might pass so I'm gonna step back out Pritchard puts it up gets it to go with ease nice little bucket there by Payne Pritchard and here we go let's watch one more really quick Hauser top of the key cross court over to Luke Cornette again we're gonna get rotation here by the defense Payne Pritchard gets behind the screen right now he's got an isolation versus the big man let me just isolate step back drive into the lane Look at this. Gets right where he wants to be. Pritchard looking for an open man. Kicks over to O'Shea Brissett. And when, you, when O'Shea Brissett's hitting threes, that's when you know you're playing some really good basketball here. Because O'Shea Brissett, not the best shooter in the world, but definitely gets that one to go. All right, here we go. Last play I really want to show you guys here. We're going to get a fast break opportunity. O'Shea Brissett going to bring it up here. Now, again, watch how he filled the lane. Steve McCollum to the corner. Uh, Namias going to the left side as well. We got uh, Jordan Walsh going to the left side, leaving Payne and Pritchard on an island over there. They, their defense plays way too far into the paint, giving Payne and Pritchard nothing but space to shoot a stop and pop three. Gets it to go. Unbelievable basketball here by the Celtics. Winning by 50 points, man. Guys, hit that like button, subscribe. I have one more thing. If you guys can do it real quickly, check this out. Real quickly, go check out Underdog Fantasy. Guys, they have so many things that you can put money on. And I'm not going to lie. I've been winning so much money on this app because they give you free plays. And what that basically means is they'll give you something like James Harden over half a point. But not only do they have points that you can bet on, they have literally so many things. Blocks, first quarter rebounds, points and assists, points, rebounds, and assists, everything. Guys, you can bet on everything anything you want it is so much fun and not only that they will match your first deposit up to a hundred dollars basically just giving you free money go get your first match deposit right and then go win some more money with the free money that they gave you it's literally so easy go check it out they also have drafts that you can do as well if you want to get into an nba draft for the night that is that is possible you can do uh, pga nhl tennis fifa so they have everything guys go check it out real quick use my promo code in the description but let's finish off this james harden video 